Here's the deal. If you're not able to show a business owner exactly how their website is losing them money, then you're gonna be losing them to some other web designer. This concept is what ultimately separates web designers who are ignored and just considered another spammy message to those that have businesses that are more than happy to work with them. And today I wanna to be sharing with you and breaking down my own 10 minute VIP audit, which I've used personally to originally hit that 10K a month to reach in 15K months and 20K months, all within the last two years. Okay, this isn't just theory, this is actually a process that helped me stand out as an introvert, show my worth, and have businesses wanting to work with me. So before we get into it, just think about this. Like you've probably seen a website with slow loading speeds, maybe broken buttons or broken links or terrible call to actions, like some generic contact us form or way of contact shoved at the bottom of the website. Like these are not just silly mistakes. These are the reasons why a website is failing for a business. And here's where you come in because most web designers, and maybe you're guilty of this, they're out there pitching nice, pretty designs. But ultimately, businesses don't care about that. Sure, they might think that they want the website to look good. However, all they really care about is results. They care about how much money their website is going to make them. And when you're able as a web designer to show them the problems that their website has and how it's hurting their bottom line, you're then just not any other web designer. You become more of a specialist or consultant. You become the expert that is able to fix the problems that they are currently facing. And this is why I created the VIP audit, which is a five to 10 minute process that walks you through a user's journey on any website step by step. By doing this, you're actually able to identify the cracks that are costing them sales and then tie that directly to their revenue and then easily show them how you are able to help to fix those problems. So let's have a look at the three-step VIP audit. First step is visibility. If a website is slow, takes ages to load, or it isn't mobile friendly, visitors, they are not gonna stick around. More importantly, if it isn't mobile friendly, Google are not really gonna consider this high in the search rankings, and so their visibility is going to be damaged there as well. So think about this. When was the last time that you visited a website and you were happy to hang around for more than a few seconds? Probably doesn't happen often, right? And that's exactly my point. So to get this point across to a business owner, within this audit, here's what you do. You grab their site and you load it in a page speed test tool. And I recommend Google's page speed test tool. That's the one that I refer to the most. You also wanna just pull it up on your phone and see how long it loads there. You wanna show them exactly what that experience feels like in real time. Then you can start to connect the dots for them because ultimately every second that their site takes to load, the more people are going to leave. People are impatient and these people, they're not gonna come back. So what you're doing is you're showing them firsthand what this problem looks like in a way that clicks to them, the way that makes sense. And then you're able to set up a solution. All right, next, the second part, the second part to this VIP audit is interaction. So let's say that there isn't a problem with site speed. Let's say that the website maybe loads fine. What happens next? Well, take a look at the navigation. If that is a mess or it's taking you longer to find key pieces of information, still visitors are going to leave. They're not gonna stick around wasting time trying to hunt, okay? They want simplicity, they want ease. So again, within this audit, to get this point across to your potential customer, to that business owner, here's what you do. You wanna walk through their website as if you were a potential customer. Put yourself in the customer's position. Think about how many clicks is it taken for them to get to a pricing page or a key piece of service information or a call to action or a method of that person being able to get in contact with that business owner. How difficult is it to achieve those things? While you're doing this, you wanna be pointing out any sticking points or things that are maybe tripping you up that would trip the customer up or anything that you maybe find a little bit weird, disjointed or jarring. By pointing these out, it's easy for you to explain to the business owner why these things are causing visitors to leave. When you're able to show this in an audit in real time, you're actually, you're not just giving them design advice, you're, you're showing them the exact places on their website that is losing them sales and where you as the expert are able to help. So that's the first two steps. Step three, the final step, this is persuasion. Here's where a lot of websites are completely dropping the ball. This one is crazy common. They're not telling visitors what it is exactly 
that they want them to do next. Having weak call to actions on the site, using labels like learn more or find out more, or even making buttons less visible or difficult to see, that's gonna be costing them a lot of sales. It almost sounds daft while saying it, but something that small is super impactful. So when you are doing this audit and you're trying to get that point across to that business owner, here's what you do. You, while you're on screen, you wanna be finding their current call to actions. That's to say if they even have any at all. I've seen plenty of websites that don't have any strong or any call to actions at all. And that's a huge red flag in itself. And you can start to show them how their buttons are maybe a little bit too buried. They're not clear enough. They're not bold enough. They're not bright enough. The label is not clear enough as to what that button does. Suggest alternative labels like book a call, free consultation, free audit, claim your free estimate, you name it. But these are much clearer and tend to drive more action than the more vague generic labels. Don't get me wrong, this step isn't about fixing a button, right? This is about giving them a clear path to getting more customers and also making you the person that's able to deliver that. So that's it. That's my VIP audit. You've got visibility, you've got interaction, and you've got persuasion. It's simple, it works, and I, I honestly believe that it's the key to get customers to pay you what you are worth. Certainly, it's felt that way for me. So in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can take this audit and you can turn that into a killer proposal so you actually get replies when you are doing outreach. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell notification if you wanna be notified of that upcoming release. And let me know down in the comments, are you ready to stop chasing clients and ready to start winning them? I wanna hear from you. That's it for me, guys. There should be a video anywhere on the screen for you to go and check out now if you're interested. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.